So before we start the steering wheel video, I just want to thank everyone for getting me to 200,000 subscribers. Today's Thursday, May 3rd, 2018. And last year, May 3rd, 2017, I hit 100,000 subscribers. So I literally doubled my subscribers in a year. It's pretty crazy, it's kind of a cool throwback Thursday. But again, guys, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I could not have done it without you. I always tell people, do what you love, work hard, and never give up. Thank you for 200,000. What's going on, guys? Mike Davenport's here. The whole family's here. Guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna install a part I got. Mike's already seen it, I've already seen it. But this is freaking sweet. This is for the 2017 Jackson. What's up, buddy? So it is actually the night before the call out. And I wanted to get this installed for you guys so you could see it at the call out on the 17. And um, we're gonna do a review video on this coming later this week. So this is kind of be a, uh, two parts of this video will be like, literally different days so but it'll be all be one video here this was custom made for me it's the steering wheel a new steering wheel for the 2017 look at that it is real carbon fiber it's got um matching suede for the interior and the cross stitch right there the the contrast stitching in the red all this is carbon fiber now this is an actual oem zl1 steer well not zero one it's a it's actually a steering wheel without the heated part so as you can see the heated option is not there but it's a regular uh sixth gen camaro steering wheel that is redesigned this grip here kind of goes around the whole steering wheel and yeah it's way more aggressive more kind of like racing so as you can see the flat bottom you got the center mark here with the racing kind of flat top there and then obviously the red paddle shifters on the back so i'm excited to put this steering wheel on the car and see how it how it, uh how it feels what do you think mike no i love it i'll tell you what one thing that i love about this i've seen some aftermarket steering wheels yeah. um that uh, are in trade-ins and stuff yeah and they're like obnoxious they're like they're like really big they're not yeah it's not too thick yeah yeah so th seeing this one in person because i've actually wanted to buy this one myself yeah 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 and uh and i've talked to the people who maybe we're going to talk about them later but yeah uh who who, who made this this and uh that was my one concern of not buying it because i thought it was going to be too big so yeah seeing it in person now is helpful yeah, so we're gonna go out there in the garage. So apologize for the mess in the in the in the room over here. Well, we got a lot of stuff that we were doing for the get ready. Here's my generator box, my tires, and from the old setup. I'm taking my bike tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Mike is apparently test driving my steering wheel yeah, in my living room. Wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got the car in here. It rained last night and it got the car all wet. Right after we washed it. Yeah, right after we washed it. So, essentially, I watched a video that uh, Lethal Camaro put up. Basically, he swapped his SS steering wheel out for uh, essentially the same ZL1 with the suede and everything. And it looked pretty easy. All you gotta do is pop the airbag and horn assembly out, and then there's one bolt, Torx bolt in there that you take off, and the steering wheel comes right out. So uh, I think what we're gonna do first, we're gonna pull the airbag fuse, so we don't have any deployed airbags in the 17. Yes. <laughs> and once we do that, we'll pop the airbag out, swap the wheels, and see how it looks. I think it's gonna look badass. I mean, that thing is sweet. Look at that. That matches the red on the car. The paddle shifters match the red like perfectly. You guys can get those paddle shifters and replace them on your standard wheel. It's the same exact paddle, they're just painted different colors. If you guys are interested in getting one of these steering wheels for your sixth gen, uh, check out Wild Hammer Motorsports. These are the guys that created this and made this whole thing. And like, I, I, I mean, the finish on this thing's fantastic. It. Like, it's like, it looks factory. It looks I've, so supercar. It's awesome. And I mentioned earlier, I've seen other carbon fiber steering wheels and yeah, I, look don't, at the, I don't like them. Yeah. Look at the detail on that carbon yeah. fiber. That is freaking sweet. And even though that's real carbon fiber there that covers the switches. And as you can see, like on my steering wheel, it's that brushed kind of silver. Now it'll still have the brushed silver in the right here. I'll lose a little 50. Uh, that's the only thing on the car that says that this is a 50th anniversary model, which is obviously any 2017 is a 50th anniversary model, but I'll keep the steering wheel, you know, in case this car would ever go up in value. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even know. It'll probably go down in value once I modify it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to work. If we look on the fuse box here, airbag is uh, F19. So fourth one up here. 
We'll yank that sucker out, and then the airbags will deploy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave that right there, because we'll throw it back in once we're done. Because we definitely want airbags in this car. It does not have a roll cage. Look at that. Do you ever see a Camaro with two steering wheels? Have you ever had a passenger driver, like a backseat? It's kind of like a backseat driver. The brake. Stop, yeah. stop. <laughs> Anyways, all right. I'm not screwing around. See, if Mike Davenport lived here and didn't live in Kentucky, we'd never get any videos done because we'd always be screwing around. So there's this little hole here on the side, and apparently you just push just push, push that in like really hard. You'll there's pull. another hole on the You'll other side. Click. <laughs> hold, on. hold on a second. Sweet. Okay. So, we now what we want to do is we want to disconnect those two yellow things down there. Yeah, right? there's two wires. Which one first? Um, either one's fine. Is it the red wire or the blue wire? Oh, do I have a Phillips head in my hand? There you go. All right. There's, both of those are off now. Look like a surgeon doing heart surgery. All righty. There you go. Got the whole thing off. And we're going to put this on the new wheel. Once we get the steering wheel off, and as you see under here, there is a single Torx uh, bolt that I will then remove, and the whole steering wheel will come off as one piece. The new one will go on, bolt it back together, throw this on, and that's that. It's honestly not that hard of a job once you know how to take these harnesses off, which is like, they're all crazy. Like, they're all, look how, look, look how they're designed. Probably so people can't take them off like me. Alrighty, so we don't have the proper tools to take this Torx uh, bolt out. So I have like the world's tiniest socket wrench. Because uh, <laughs> the Torx bit that I do have is a 3 8 inch drive. And I don't have that in an impact gun. So we're using this jack uh, bar. I think this will work. To torque it. Alright, ready? Alrighty guys, so this is a whole different week, whole different day. Um, call it is already over. I kind of rushed the install on the steering wheel because I wanted to be ready for the call out so everybody could see the steering wheel on the car. Uh, so what I did is I went ahead and kind of took it half apart to kind of continue off where we left. Um, that would have been Saturday night. <clears throat> so the only thing that's changed, I actually got the wheel on, as you can see. One thing worth mentioning here with the inside of the steering wheel, when you take the stock one off, so I'm going to lift these harnesses up here. If you can see this harness here, that's for the heated steering wheel option. Uh, some of you guys might not have that. It's connected to this plastic piece behind this silver metal piece here. You can see that little yellow window right where my thumb is. So that there's a circular plastic piece there that's connected to the back of this metal piece. Now I watched Lethal Camaro's video when he um, upgraded to the suede steering wheel from his leather wrapped one on the SS and his did not come off however my plastic piece behind that metal piece came right off with it and it stuck on there and it ripped all of these like ribbon wires out and they were all coiled up behind that Torx bolt there okay and that was, of course, a major issue. So, when you guys take the steering wheel off, be careful that black plastic piece back there. If you have to use a screwdriver or something to something to keep it on the actual um, the, the steering wheel mount right here, don't let it come off on the actual steering wheel because you'll be in for a real treat trying to wrap those ribbon wires back up and get it the right way. But once you get to the point where you want to put the steering wheel on, the new one, torque that bolt down, torque it down pretty hard, pretty much as hard as it did you know, when you torqued it off. We're not really sure of the torque rating, but we did use some uh, Loctite on there as well, so that bolt will not loosen itself up then. Now we're going to put the airbag and horn assembly back in, and first we're going to hook up the harnesses behind there and uh, it should be easy. All you gotta do is push that whole piece in. Sorry, I'm using the light on my phone. <clears throat> it's a little dark in here, but um, you just gotta push this whole piece in, just slam it right in, real easy. And then make sure your horn works and it should be good to go. Also, make sure that you plug the proper harnesses into the proper colors. As you can see, there's a pink and purple one. And on the back of this, you'll see there's a pink and purple uh, insert. So make sure those are plugged in correctly and as well as this little red harness here. I'm not really sure what that's for. I think that's actually for your horn. Yeah, that's what that is. Yep. So that's your horn harness and that's uh, everything else, the airbag and whatnot. So we'll plug the red one in first. Just like that until you hear it snap. And then 
purple and pink and same thing with them make sure you hear it snap and make sure they're directly up and down just like they came uh, out of the of the hole there they don't give you much room to work with guys so if you got big hands it's gonna suck now that that's in center it up make sure it's everything's in properly just like that and you just Slam it in forward and I'll probably be beeping the horn and people outside I'm like, what is that idiot doing in his garage? There we go. And that's that. It's gonna have some wiggle to it. Uh, that's how the stock ones are. But you'll hear there sh should be two clicks, one on each side. And that's that. So there is the finished, completed steering wheel and it looks absolutely awesome. Look at the carbon fiber work on this thing. That is all custom done. Uh, the original steering wheel is cut in that carbon fiber. That's real carbon fiber, not fake. Real carbon fiber with a little center mark there. And it's finished really, really nicely. Like, you can't even feel that. Everything's extremely smooth. I haven't found one flaw in the steering wheel. Even, even the actual microfiber or suede, as they call it, is stitched better than from GM. Like, these guys hand stitch this. It looks awesome and every part of it is, is perfect. There's, there's nothing, I haven't found, like I said, I haven't found one thing wrong with this steering wheel whatsoever. And um, obviously, those red paddle shifters are an option. They're not gonna put those on there for you guys. You can tell them to if you want. Uh, I wanted that option because I thought it looked pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm in love with this steering wheel. I honestly think this thing should come on the car from the factory, or at least come on the 1LE version, like the track spec pack. This is like so supercar looking. It's freaking awesome. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take the car on a test drive, see how the wheel feels, and kind of do a little review for you guys. Alrighty, so turning on to the main road here, and you know, no matter what angle the steering wheel is at, it, there's a place to put your hand, there's a place to grip, and the whole wheel is, you know, it's a lot thicker than the stock steering wheel. I think it feels a lot better, it's easier to grip. You can, you know, hold it normal, like you're driving and using the paddle shifters. You can put one hand up here and ride dirty, whatever you want to do. There's actually some little finger pockets back here behind the wheel for extra grip. If you want to put the your hands at, you know, 10 and 2, that works too. You, you got a nice thick part of the wheel right here to grip. And um, if you want to go below, let's say, like um, 4 and 8, a lot of people like to do that when they're driving. Uh, there's like a flat part here on the steering wheel, and it's easy to put your hand on there. It feels good. And just looking down at the gauge cluster right now, I have my steering wheel adjusted so nothing really is uh, blocking the gauge cluster, the tack, speedometer, anything like that. It doesn't really shorten the height of the steering wheel that much, you know, with the flat top and the flat bottom, so you can still see all your gauge cluster and everything like that. The quality of the steering wheel is like phenomenal. Yeah, it is a factory steering wheel that's modified a little bit, but you know, nothing on it looks cheap. If we just look at the parts that were replaced and customized, it all looks just as good, if not better, than something you'd see from a car manufacturer. I like the fact that it has this finished carbon fiber because those of you guys that have suede steering wheels, microfiber steering, steering wheels, Alcantara, you name what, whatever you want to call the material, it will eventually shine and wear weird, especially from the oils of your hands, touching it all the time. And it, it doesn't really last that long unless, of course, you're somebody who doesn't really drive their car. But um, it's nice to have another place to put your hand on the steering wheel that it's not gonna get affected. So that was one of the big things I loved about the steering wheel. Now you can also get this without the suede. If you don't want it to match the interior of the car, maybe you have an SS and you wanna ma have it match the leather and you don't have the Alcantara, you can get like a perforated leather um, on the sides of the steering wheel. So you don't have to have suede if you don't want it. I chose it because I wanted it to match the car. But like I said, it's nice to have a spot where you can put your hand and it's not touching the Alcantara all the time. I know sometimes when I drive, I like to put my hand kind of down below near like the seven or five o'clock position. And obviously, because I'm resting my arm, you know, on the armrest, so it's easy to just steer. But they got these little pockets down here where it kind of like, it, like they're like little places to put your fingers. And it's really cool because um, when you're driving straight and not making a turn, they're useful. But when you're making a turn, it's easy to grip around there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on a back road real quick. Uh, we're going to whip around some corners. We're going to test out the paddle shifter, see how the steering wheel feels.
Now, if you guys are interested in getting this steering wheel or maybe customizing your own, check out their website, wildhammermotorsports.com. I'm gonna have that below for you guys in the description. I'm gonna be doing the uh, carbon fiber dash insert pretty soon because I was unable to order my ZL1 with that option. I believe you can order it now from the factory with that option. And I know uh, that the 1LEs come with them as well. So we're gonna change out the uh, suede there and do a carbon fiber piece there because now that I got this steering wheel in the inside with the carbon fiber on it, now I'm just gonna just do a bunch of carbon fiber everywhere. But either way, let me know what you guys think of the steering wheel. Is it a great addition to the interior? I think it is. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.